Hello everyone, welcome to another video. WrestleMania is today, so what I wanted to do is Bleacher Report did a top 50 greatest WWE superstars of all time. And you know, I really, I like wrestling. I don't watch it as much now as I did in the past, but I would know most if not all of these people here. So we're gonna see what Bleacher Report thinks is the top 50 wrestlers of all time. And for more content like this, make sure to like the video. If you love WrestleMania, make sure to subscribe. Let's begin. Number 50, are of course, the Big Show. Big Show number 50. Okay, that's you know. Okay, I don't know. Maybe is that low? Maybe maybe not. I got I gotta like see. I had to gauge and see what's 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 up there. Forty nine is Lita. I really loved Lita as a kid with the what, the Hardy Boys. Um, she's a four time women's champion, women tag team champion, Hall of Fame. She did she did hold Matt Hardy though. That Matt Hardy Edge and Lita thing, and she had that thing where she was showing her cleavage a lot. It was very it was it was an interesting time. You know, wrestling was very interesting back in the day. But yeah, okay, Vader. I think. I think Big Show should be ahead of Vader, right? Like I don't know, we're, we're and Vader, probably really good too. I didn't watch a lot of Vader, but I mean the Big Show. Come on, I think the Big Show should be ahead of Vader. I'm in my opinion. Dean Ambrose ahead of the Big Show. So far, this list ain't cooking. I ain't gonna lie. AJ Styles ahead of. You know, I don't know. AJ Styles should be. I guess. Yeah, I mean he's more to me more of the TNA guy, but he was. He's done good in WWE. You know, they're saying they're, they're showing obviously they said what makes a top 50 star and they probably told me some more information, but I'm I'm just I'm just going through it. Asuka, no, nah, I don't think she should be ahead. If we talking WWE, I don't think that. Kofi Kingston, um I don't know if I don't know. Jeff Hardy number 43. The list ain't, ain't hidden for me right now. I think Jeff Hardy should be higher than that. Ravishing Rick Rude. I don't know. I feel like I don't know. This list is is not hidden. Sasha Banks over Jeff Hardy. I don't I don't like it right now. I'm not liking it. Sasha Banks should not be over Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy is like a hood classic. Superstar Billy Graham. You know, probably a really good guy, a good wrestler, but ahead of Jeff Hardy. I don't know. RVD. I don't think RVD should be. Well, RVD is really good. Should be ahead of Jeff Hardy and uh Big Show maybe, but I don't know. I feel like Jeff Hardy did more of an impact for WWE than Rob Van Dam. Owen Hart, rest in peace to you. I mean, he, I think he may, may, should have been higher, but you know, maybe he just wasn't as popular as his brother, Mr. Perfect. And these people, their accomplishments is really low. Intercontinental champion and hall of famer. And that's it. I need a little more than that, man. I don't know. Batista 36. That's a travesty. Travesty. Batista should be higher than 36. Um, I think he should be. I mean, Batista was really, when he was in his peak and his prime, if, I'm curious what they have over Batista, bro, because Batista was a main character in the in this, in this, in this world. So that's interesting that they have him like that. The Ultimate Warrior over Batista, I guess. He was popular back in the day, I guess. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. They must be saying, like, they must be doing, like, just pure wrestling ability, too, maybe. Because over Batista, uh, I don't know. Booker T., I, I'm not mad at Booker T 33. I'm not mad at that. Um, Jake the Snake Roberts 32. Over Batista. Uh, I mean, I guess Kane 31. I think that's too low. I feel like y'all gonna name people that Kane was his, his debut is probably the best debut of a character ever. The unmasking thing back in 03 was also really good too. I don't know. Kane was I don't know, 31 seems kind of low to me. Razor Ramon, rest in peace. Um, yeah, I'm fine with that. Fine with Razor Ramon. Trish Stratus. Trish Stratus. I don't know. I feel like she should be higher. Trish Stratus, when she she's seven-time champion, like back in the day when women's wrestling was really not good, she was the one carrying it. Like she actually put on good matches. And she had, and she also is very attractive too. So like that's a double double thing. So the fact that Trish Stratus uh, that low, it's kind of, I don't know, 29. Put a little higher, man. I don't know. I, 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 a little higher. China. Um, rest in peace to you. Um, I think she's, I think Trish Stratus should be ahead of her though. I, I don't know. I feel like Trish Stratus should be ahead of China. Charlotte Flair. She's been a seven-time SmackDown Women's Champion and a six-time Raw Women's Champion. I think they just given her the title. Like they just give her the title and let let it let it go because I mean she's a good wrestler, but dang, like a thirteen-time champion is kind of crazy, bro. They just moving back and forth. Seth Rollins. Okay, Seth Rollins is a really good wrestler. Seth Rollins has done, he's hes definitely done well in this era. So uh, I'll give Seth Rollins that. Edge, 25. I don't know. I think Edge should be higher. 
Edge Edge is like one of the best heels I've ever seen. He is an outstanding heel. He's great on the mic. His theme song Fire too. I don't know. I feel like it might be a little too low, boy. I don't know. They they need to cook a little better for me. Ric Flair 24. That's really low. I'm interested what the top 10 is. Comment down below what you think the top 10 will be. Um Ric Flair 24 is very low. I mean, maybe they saying he's done he did stuff in other promotions, which is why he's that low. But that's to me, that's kind of crazy, low key. Becky Lynch over Ric Flair. I I guess you got it, man. I don't know. Um, Becky Lynch is the I think it's the face of women's wrestling right now, but and uh, her and Rhea Ripley, but I don't think you know twenty over Ric Flair is kind of insane to me. I don't know. Daniel Bryan could have been top ten, boy. He got injured, boy. Daniel Bryan could have been top ten. He had charisma. Everyone was on his side. Daniel Bryan definitely should have been, and he, he had that yes chance. He definitely should have been way, way higher in terms of it's just the injuries came in and hurt his plot. Triple H at 21 is kind of crazy. I'm still coming up. I don't know. Triple H is, yeah, I don't know. I, that's that's really low for me. 20 CM Punk. CM Punk over Triple H is interesting. CM Punk is great. I don't know if he had a Triple H though. I don't know if he's had a Triple H. We don't keep going. Randy Orton 19. What's the top 10? Randy Orton is really low. 18 Eddie Guerrero. Okay. Rest in peace, Eddie. Eddie's a hell of a wrestler. Hell of a yeah, hell of a special wrestler. Brock Lesnar. You know, the thing, yeah, he's not even supposed to be in existence no more. They they booted him out of existence. I don't think Brock Lesnar's ahead of those guys. The Triple H, Randy Orton, CM Punk. Because Brock Lesnar, when he was in his second run as champion, he wasn't as interesting. Or second run as in the company wasn't as interesting as his first. Like, to me, he was boring because Paul Heyman was always talking for him. And it was just like, he would dominate people, but it was just not interesting to me. It was, you know, he had interesting moments, but it just, to me, I had a Randy Orton, Triple H, and all of them. I don't know. That's pretty crazy. 16, Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho being 16, I feel like maybe he should be like 13, 14. But Jericho is a wrestling legend. Mick Foley, another wrestling legend, 15. Okay. 14, Andre the Giant. I think that definitely has to be for... Just iconicness, putting Andre at number 14. And he was very iconic. Rest in peace to him. 13, Roman Reigns. Okay, Roman Reigns, 13. This is re the recency bias that has some of it in here. But at the same time, I can see Roman Reigns being that high. I'm not mad at it. I mean, his run is an all-time level run. It's one of the great runs in history. Um, and he's done a great job in the beginning. He It wasn't good. They didn't do him well. But when he came back in 2020 he came back and he balled out and it, we in 2024 we're almost four years he's been champion for almost four years right that's insane he's been champion for almost four years so if he wins in at wrestlemania who's stopping him man hey he got it i like that i like that ray mysterio 12 i don't know 12 is crazy a little high i think over like triple h randy orton cm punk Roman Reigns. I think he should be top 20, but 12 is as interesting. But we'll, 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 I digress. Kurt Angle 11. I'm not mad at that. Kurt Angle is a actually is a hell of a wrestler, just purely. He's the only gold medalist in WWE history, says it right there. I, I put, I can put him at 11. That's fine. That's fine. Um, who's the top 10? Let's see who's the top 10, guys. Very interested for this. Hulk Hogan 10. Hulk Hogan, just for iconicness. I know his matches are not that good. I'm not going to lie. But he's iconic. Number 10. Okay. Number nine is Rowdy Roddy Piper. This has to be from just strict, um, just pioneering iconicness. Then he had his Piper's Pit, great heel. Uh, I don't know how great of a wrestler he was. Rest in peace to him. But I think it's just an eye like he's a pioneer. So they put him at number nine. Okay, whatever. Let's keep going. Um, eight, Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels should be number one. Not number one. But just if you talk about, I guess if you talk about just wrestling ability and just how he's able to put on matches in the ring, number one. But you add the like extra stuff. He's still really high, but he's not as high as others like Rockstone Cold. So number eight, I think he should be a little higher, honestly. But Shawn Michaels, I mean Ric Flair says it himself. Shawn Michaels is the best wrestler, and it's, it's Ric Flair, so he knows what he's talking about. Um, okay, seven, The Rock. Who's top five? Bret Hart gonna be number one? How does this go on? I think Bret Hart might be number one. I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, okay, The Rock. I guess him leaving early hurt his stock to be higher. Let's see, number six, Bruno Sammartino. It gotta be just iconicness. He has the longest championship run of all time, but I'm not gonna put him over The Rock. 
I'm sorry. Like, I know they could do that little, like, he played plumbers. I don't know, but I'm not putting him over the rock. John Cena, number five, not too mad at that. He is a 16 time champion, very iconic, and he was the main, he's definitely the main character. I wish he had a heel run. I really, really wish he had a heel run in his, um, maybe in his, like, later, later ish years. Not when he went to Hollywood, but right before then. But, you know, top five. We we got that. He top five. He 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 he's really good on the mic for sure. He he'll roast you like crazy on the mic. Number four is the Undertaker. Okay, the Undertaker is the best gimmick, like the best gimmick of all time in wrestling history. Like the Undertaker's gimmick, the Dead Man. This is the best gimmick in the history of wrestling. It was actually really believable for times when you were a kid. It's an outstanding gimmick, the Undertaker, and he's great on the mic. He's very diverse, and you know, just all time great. Definitely super iconic. We all know the Undertaker. Macho Man Randy Savage number three is actually that's crazy to me. I mean, he hey, rest in peace to you, boy. He might have been a good, really good wrestler, bro. But number three all time, I don't know number. Th I mean, he iconic. He got an iconic gimmick too in his name, but bro, number three is that is something. Okay, number two, Stone Cold. I knew, I knew. Didn't what I tell you? Stone Cold number two. Um, yeah, Stone Cold, he was like, very iconic. He helped, you know, push the Monday Night Wars to WWF side. Um, he had all the sayings in the world. Hell of a wrestler. He got injured and his career got cut short from it. But hell of a wrestler, man. Number two. And number one, I told you who going to be. I told you Bret Hitman Hart going to be number one. I told you. He's the greatest in-ring performer of all time. Matt's technician. I mean, Bret Hart being number one. There is an argument for him being a number one all-time wrestler, for sure. It's just I'm not gonna be the one to make it. I definitely don't think he's number one. I think Stone Cold and The Rock could be in that box in there. I think Ric Flair obviously could be number one. Um, Undertaker, uh, Shawn Michaels. There's a great argument for Shawn Michaels to be the greatest. Um, they said Bret Hart. So, hey, that that's the top 50. I had a lot of it I didn't agree with. A lot of it I didn't agree with. It was a very interesting list, but it's their opinion. And I'll take it. Maybe one day I'll make my top 10. Top 10 WWE wrestlers of all time. I might make my top 10. But that's their top 50. But hey, hey, if you watched all the way to the end, make sure to like this video. Obviously, you watched the end for a reason. So make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe for more content. Um, WrestleMania is going to be a really dope show. I'm going to definitely watch WrestleMania. If you're going to watch WrestleMania, make sure you give this video a like. Make sure to put down in the comments what's your favorite match. And put down in the comments what do you think of this list. And also, hey, make sure to check out this video where I look at all the WWE theme songs and I determine which one's the best. I will go ahead and catch you guys on the next video and I'm out of here. Peace.